Hi, in this video we'll talk about the new software from Keysight, ADS RF System Explorer or RFSC for short. It is introduced in 2024 version of ADS and System View. It's primarily the System View RF system design tool called Spectrasys, which has been embedded into the ADS software. So RF SC is launched from ADS and it has access to many of the RF system models that are in the system view spectrosis. It also has the ability to capture an RF system level representation of your circuit, for example, a power amplifier or a mixer, and then bring that into the RF SC environment to look at link budget analysis. So some of the measurements that you can do are RF impairments, spurious analysis, mismatch analysis, noise and distortion. RFSE supports link budget analysis, RF planning, spectral plots, leakage and path. It helps you to meet system specification from a behavioral model to the circuit level implementation. No earlier defects in the circuit design that could be affecting your overall RF system performance or even your digital communication performance. It helps you diagnose complex RF analog effects, including spurious origins. It used the RF circuit architecture infrastructure from system view spectrosis and a circuit designer can share the circuit representation and verify it in RFSC before being shared to the RF systems team or the RF system integrator. It also gives valuable insights into the different parts of your design and you can do uh, frequency and uh, power sweeps. It creates an interactive graphical um, analysis of all the different types of link budget measurements and it also creates a table of all the different measurements. So these are all the different users of RFSC. For example, a system designer could use RFSC to facilitate the flow between system and circuit design team. For example, the circuit designer could create a system level representation of the circuit and then verify that in RFSC. And then once you verify and save it in RFSC, it's saved in the same system view workspace structure. And then the system designer can then open up the system design to a workspace. For a circuit designer, it gives the capability to perform simulations that you may typically not be doing at the circuit level. And um, you could be doing out of system level simulations. And the second aspect that we talked about before is it creates an RF system level representation and captures in an ADS MD file format called extracted behavioral model. And this behavioral model is an RF system level representation of all the different parameters. For example, an amplifier could be having gain, IP3, IP2, and dB gain compression and S parameters, and these are captured into these EBM files. These EBM files are textual representation files. For a circuit for system designer, it gives the connectivity between the circuit tool and the system tool. And for part vendors, it gives the ability to create system level parts or models for their circuit thus protecting the IP which can be shared with their customers. And for measurement groups, 
it, the EBM models can be used to store the measurement so that the same model that's being used in the simulation extraction could also be used um, for, for capturing the measurement um, aspects of a particular part. So this is the user interface for RFSC. So when you launch RFSC, <clears throat> you can construct your complete chain or maybe just a single amplifier. And then you can represent the amplifier using behavioral level parameters like gain, noise figure, 1 dB gain, compression, and so on. And then once the amplifier, for example, has been designed in ADS circuit design, then you can extract the circuit level representation in an extracted behavioral model and replace the behavioral level amplifier, for example, here, with the extracted behavioral level model, which then accurately captures the circuit level representation. And then you can use this interface and then do the RF system simulation and look at um, link budget analysis in a tabular format or in a graphical format. It, RFSC allows you to create spectral plots. It's automatically created for you right here. It it'll creates the budget plot with different parameters and cascaded measurement tables right here. And it also allows you to create a PowerPoint report of your complete RFSC system. So the next part, we'll talk about how to use RFSC through uh, simple demos. <clears throat>